so machine learning and artificial intelligence okay let me try to share uh, uh, the few slides maybe for 15 to 20 minutes we are we are going to have the theory session then straight away i'll take the practical sessions because as per the the request not request as per our uh, uh, the syllabus we are going to execute around eight machine learning projects uh, almost all are real time projects now after execution it is your duty to practice those projects understood and at uh, the moment when you start practicing you, you will understand okay how to work with the data and uh, if you are planning your project final year projects let's say any real time projects you can implement the same concept in other projects also understood that's the reason uh, we have taken eight projects which is universal in nature same concept will be used in other projects also okay so later on you will understand okay how the things okay, are uh, executing okay. how the things we execute in the machine learning understood but before that one, okay. it's very important okay. to know okay it's but before that one it's very important to know okay uh, the de demand for the machine learning machine learning concepts okay so let's 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 start away let's go to the ppt i hope you can see my ppt uh, can you see yes, the ppt sir. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will not. I will not repeat now. It is the audible, audible or not. Straight away, I'll start explaining. Okay. This is our company. Uh, this is located in our PA campus. Okay. So startup, they have given the permission, and we started executing. Uh, in the training part, we take in the corporate projects also, and these are our areas right now. We focus on these areas: AWS, Tableau, RPA, and WordPress. AWS, Amazon Web Services. Uh, generally, we use Amazon Web Services for most of the artificial neural networks. Oh, sorry, artificial intelligence projects. Understood. There are many options are available in AWS. Later on, slowly, slowly, I'll try to discuss and I'll try to cover. Okay, some of the services related to AWS. Okay, and most of our machine learning program we are going to execute using AWS system. Tableau we have. We are working under Tableau also for data analysis. Okay, for the prediction purpose, forecasting purpose. Suppose you take the sales. Okay, so how the company is growing? How? What are the problem the companies are facing? Okay, so if you have the relevant data related to the company, by we can analyze that data and we can come up with some solutions. Okay, in the profit doesn't matter whether it is a profit, marketing, sales, HR, finance, whatever it is. Understood. So some of the videos are available in my YouTube channel related to Tableau. Already we have I have conducted some of the webinar webinar in Tab Tableau also. RPA Robotic Process Auto Automation. It is also booming in market. Okay, uh, everything is going to be automated. Maybe in uh, coming two to three years, uh, uh, people don't want to touch the computer. Just click one button, everything should be taken care by the uh, computer. Understood. So that is one area. WordPress that is for web development purposes. Uh, for in the lower semesters okay so take diploma third semester fourth semester we try to train them using wordpress understood so these are some of the areas we right now we are focusing uh, and after some times we will we are going to add some more the areas like iot's okay iot next blockchain is there let's try to talk okay so since this session is concerned our main agenda is to design uh, machine learning products right from start to finish using aws or any other technologies understood so this is our company these are the services okay so i don't want to discuss much more on this we are totally into training remember training workshops webinars international conference students projects also we take paper publication many things are we are executing understood so these are the projects eight projects we are going to execute okay so first let's try to discuss about let's try to take this project let's try to execute this project from start to finish understood but remember since i have listed out the projects understood but your main intention should be okay to understand the data okay how to uh, what category of the data it is and how to handle that data that should be your mon main motto understood so number of birth after i have some data data set of uh, uh, california region okay so Using that California region data, um, I, I want to predict, okay, how many number of birth will be in the next day. Suppose let us say today is 30, the birth. So tomorrow I want to predict how much will be the next day birth. Hope you are understanding. Participants. Hello? 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 Yeah. 
so what will be the we are going to predict okay so what will be the next day uh, the birth similarly this same concept you can use for weather forecasting or you take any real time data total population of the different countries understood many things you can think uh, your visualization okay so in the prospectus of your visualization you can think so main agenda here time series forecasting so i'm going to have time series data let's try to work with the time series data and how to use how to forecast time series data using arima model so arima model okay i'm going to use arima model but before uh, using arima model I'll, what i have what i will do i'll try to use base model first let's see how much the base model the accuracy will give next we'll go for the arima model next uh, uh, model fitting okay so in model fitting generally what i will do uh, whether i'll check whether my training data and the testing data will fit my model or not okay so after fitting whether it gives the accurate result or not if accuracy accurate result is it is not, if it is not providing what i will do i'll try to have hyper parameter tuning in hyper parameter tuning what i will do i'll try to check all the possibilities say uh, i'm getting 60% of accuracy so what i will do i uh, using hyper parameter tuning i'll try to increase the accuracy let's say after hyper parameter tuning whether i'll get 70% 80% of uh, accuracy or not next is acf akai information model okay acf find pacf for the correlation purpose i'm going to use okay whether i'll check Uh, some of the attribute let's say the data which matches with the other data or not if it is matches okay in which in what level it matches under understood if it is not matching what will be the error between the two datas that we are going to uh, discuss in this projects next uh, once the model is ready machine learning model is ready what i will do i'll try to deploy that model using uh, the flask system okay using aws amazon web services hope you are clear participants any doubt no hello sir. no sir yeah understood understood no so don't yes, um, okay um, so let's take one by one okay one by one otherwise you will get confused understood so next this is going to be our next project house prediction house price prediction data using le uh, linear regression model understood data cleaning here what i will do i am going to take some noisy data okay so after taking noisy data let's see let's see how to clean that noisy data okay after clearing the noisy data how to uh, create the model using keras system tensor flow system i'm going to use here okay so next i'll use flask also here to for the deployment purpose next is i'm going to use next in the third project we have cnn convolution neural network technique for the image recognition system so this is going to be the other type of a data image i'm going to use and i'm going to uh, check going to predict the object recognition whether it is a horse or human we can take other uh, the images also we can predict modelization a technique model fitting okay so again after uh, uh, the successful uh, creation of the model i'll check whether my model fit with my the testing data or not understood so if it is fitting okay well and fine okay so we can use it in the production level if it is not fitting this again we have to do some certain kind of a hyper parameter a technique next again we have taken one more uh, called cotton plant disease prediction okay so this is related to med medicine fields or you can say agriculture also this machine learnings are widely used in agriculture areas industries also so here what i am going to do is i'll take the picture of any uh, leaf understood and i will try try to predict whether in that leaf disease is there not or not okay if it if disease is there means what type of disease it is <laughs> okay so next after finding the exact type of disease we are going to recommend for this disease this is the solution or to say uh, the antidotes i can say understood this is going to be a four project face and object recognition using open cv this comes under vision okay so computer vision widely used in automation systems uh, vehicle automation system you take uh, okay uh, there we will be using this one okay we'll try to discuss this one the next is most important nlp i have taken one more platform called nlp natural language processing uh, like natural language processing system used for the sentiment analysis let's say people talk about disaster disaster i think you might have seen in twit, uh, twitter in facebook okay in any other social medias people talk about the disasters 
now we need to predict whether it is uh, true or not if it is true okay for what level it is true understood and what are the uh, the decisions next can be taken understood based upon the data which is in the twitch or the facebook uh, uh, system using nlp system this is going to be the the other platform of machine learning next ai chatbots i think you might have seen a kpu and bpus are nowadays i think most of the kpus and bpu business okay almost shut down what is the reason because of the ai conversation chatbots most of the kpu and bpu jobs has already taken over by the chatbots so we are going to use chatbots okay uh, for the service purpose suppose let us say you have ordered some products so you want the service from the company so what i will do so i'll try to configure that chatbots okay for your products using the database system understood so everything taken care by the chatbots so the physical involvement of the human will not be there in this system next this is ongoing projects we are working on this project called deep learning in deep nets okay this is for the oceans uh, nearly 70% of our world is covered with the water but only 5% of the protein is given by uh, we are getting from the oceans understood so now next is our job in this project is to find out the fishes okay so i'll target here the fishes okay the exact location where the fishes are located understood so after that okay so using that data okay so we can give this data for the fishermen so they can go to that exact location and they can okay can perform their job okay so this is going to be one of the uh, we are working on this project okay so half of the project is completed okay so maybe in 15 days we are going to finish this project also so these are some of the projects okay we are going to cover this one i hope uh, i think in this entire this projects i i think you will be able to execute you will be able to understand nearly 70% of uh, the machine learning the concept understood hope you are cleared with this uh, any doubt participants hello hello no sir no no so hope these are the projects and you can plan your final year projects by from any one from this okay uh, you can take any one complete any one project and you can explore this for the next level understood so next is okay, sir. why machine learning okay so why machine learning why we need machine learning that is very important here okay but before that one i think it's very important to uh, learn or to understand okay the current trends in the market what the market is demanding okay is you can see copy ma'am uh, yes, okay okay so this is as per our uh, what i can say the experience we have listed out some of the cutting edge technology what the companies are looking nowadays okay the uh, but before that one one thing i just wanted to clear this doesn't matter whether it is a medical field agricultural sector or any other you take okay uh, mechanical field electrical field biotechnology whatever telecommunication field okay the common thing uh, for us is in all the uh, department is the data okay all the departments all the sectors are generating the data understood and as a software engineers it is our responsibility to understand the data and how to use how to play the data that is very important here okay so let's try to discuss how much quantity of data we are generating day by day okay uh, as far as uh, data generation is concerned data is a new oil you know that one and uh, those who are working in data okay they did not to, did not to hesitate for coming 5 to 6 years understood so right now we have around 1 million companies 1 lakh company sorry so this in coming 6 to 7 years this 1 lakh company is going to become 1 million company 10 lakh companies all will be working either in artificial intelligence or software related, related products but but for all those companies data is required understood so when you have a data so you can come up with new innovative ideas okay so now next the total amount of data as per uh, 2020 we have around 40 zettabyte of data 1 zettabyte is equal to you just place 21 zeros in front of one so 40 zettabyte means we place 22 zeros okay so such a huge amount of data we have but the problem here is we have analyzed only 12% of the data so 88% of the data is somewhere in the dark world understood the dark world 88% of the data again we need to analyze just imagine uh, so what will be the demand in the coming years for the data analysis or uh, the people who are working in 
AI platform. Okay, so now it has predicted that we have uh, the experts have predicted that this what is that of white of data? Voice is breaking, sir. Voice is breaking. Yeah. So now uh, the experts has predicted that this till 2025, this what is that of white of data is going to generate around 175 that of white of data. It is a huge amount of data. Understood. So if you uh, uh, burn that, you take the DVD and you try to burn this 175 that of white of data. We can have we can have the around what 222 times around we can travel around the world such a huge amount of data we are going to generate understood but the problem here is though we have the data okay so to handle this data to process this data we need a, a cutting edge technology we cannot use the old systems okay the old systems uh, to handle this type of a, a data understood so that's the reason we have listed some of the 10 cutting edge technology. Okay. And in all those platforms, we are going to use machine learning uh, concepts. Okay. Machine learning and artificial neural network. So I have listed some of the, uh, the companies, okay, who are generating massive amount of data and uh, their total business depend upon the data only single day. Uh, we are generating around 2.5 quintillion bytes of data. Okay. You take your mobile. Okay. Email systems. Uh, okay. So using we are generating 2.5 quintal trillions of data out of which yeah emails 300 billion bytes uh, WhatsApp 65 billion bytes weather forecast 26 billion bytes YouTube 5 billion bytes internet search 5 billion out of which 3.5 uh, comes only from the Google photo upload and sharing 3 billion bytes Netflix their total business is in, is in data okay so their total business depend upon the data. They are generating around 165 million hours. They have already uploaded. That's such a huge amount of data. Twitch, 500 million. Instagram, 100 million. These are some few companies. There are other companies also who are massively generating the uh, data. Understood. So next is uh, some of the technology, okay, who, which is going to rule in the upcoming um, years, say in after two to three years. Oh, out of which in number 10 we have cognitive cloud computing okay so this is close uh, completely depend upon the big data huge amount of data so uh, in in this in machine learning what happens uh, we need structured format of a data if you have structured clean data then only we can use such type of a data okay that is one type of a problem itself so as i told you 12 percent of 12 percent of the data only we are using okay to design certain kind of a model using machine learning. So just imagine, okay, if you are able to use or handle rest 88% of the data, okay, so we can come up with more innovative ideas, understood. But in the cognitive cloud computing system, also it is also possible to use unstructured format of a data, understood. This is coming up, with, coming up in the market, okay. So next is the companies like IBM, Microsoft, Google, Cisco, okay, so they uh, have invested uh, a lot of money. Uh, the, it is calculated that 13.8 billion. Okay, it is going to generate the revenue till 2020. Understood. So they are generating it. Some of the products are Siri, Google Assistant, okay, Cortana, Alexa. These are some of the products of cognitive cloud computing system. I will not dig much more on this part. Okay, just have a look on this. Okay, later on you can decide. Okay, in which technology you want to excel your career. 5G technology, 40 times faster than the 4g okay uh, some of the companies uh, countries like south korea us switzerland okay they are the leaders in 5g even the india okay they have already installed uh, the 5g spectrums maybe in coming years maybe 2021 we are going to have 5G. so some of the companies like intel ericsson qualcomm samsung okay they have invested a huge amount okay on 5g technology okay so this comes in uh, uh, the people who are from electronics department, they can focus more on uh, 5G uh, technology. Here also we require machine learning. I'll tell you, okay, where we can implement machine learning concepts in 5G technologies also. Okay, uh, next we have in uh, number eight, we have big data. There are two types of a data. Remember, good data and the dark data. Good data, 12%, whatever the data we have, that is, you can consider it as a good data. Means structure format of data okay and almost all the companies are using good data understood so next we have the dark data let me show you so dark data this is 12% this is a good data 
and this 88% this is a dark data out of dark data it is possible to analyze 23% of 88% understood so using cognitive cloud computing system again first further we need to take 68 65% of the data somewhere hidden in the network or the data is it is with the people or the machine understood we need to explore this but before exploring this our task is to explore this 23% of the data okay using uh, the latest technologies okay so next is that comes under big data uh, data analysis automation augmented uh, augmented analytics one of my intern he has designed this augmented analytics project okay maybe i'll show you okay how he has implemented using er and vr systems next data as a service you can offer the service like data as a service we have the data you can use it uh, for your uh, requirement whatever the requirement the clients are ha are having so according to that you can share the data with your the client netflix amazon starbucks spotify these are some of the companies who are working on this big data system now next is most important dark technology okay uh, dark it is a combination of distributed ledger technology artificial intelligence extended reality and quantum computing okay so artificial intelligence it's just a part of a dark technology distributed also comes or distributed ledger technologies also comes here okay quantum computing are we are also going to in integrate extended reality as far as my knowledge we are working on these two artificial intelligence extended reality er and vr systems we are not much focusing on quantum computing and distributed ledger technology but if you are planning your career in dark so you should be familiar with this all these three uh, technologies sorry four technology understood so next uh, uh, why we need dark technology okay dark is uh, 10000 times faster than uh, the current uh, the cpu the processors processors we have suppose let us say you are taking around uh, one year to travel imagine you imagine you are taking to uh, one year to travel from uh, earth to mars imagine that understood so the so same we can achieve just in 200 seconds okay so such a huge uh, uh, the speed uh, we can execute the data in a speeder way understood using the dark technology google has achieved it okay google is all closely working with uh, the nasa people okay um, they are trying to execute what whatever the complex data are there okay using the dark technology okay so next is i'll show you wait a minute so this is uh, this is the one of the achievement uh, which was um, done by okay achieved by the google google climbs a quantum breakthrough that could change the computing system this is going to be a future maybe it takes around 4 to 5 years okay to implement dark technology in the corporate sectors but dark is available uh, google is having and ibm is having ibm using dark in medical sectors okay so that is i ibm ibm as well as the dark concern anyways i will not dig much on this and next technology what we have is uh, 3d printing the companies like manufacturing companies manufacturing you take car manufacturing companies or any other production level companies okay so they are migrating totally they are migrating towards the 3d technologies okay so 3d again when it comes to 3d programming comes okay so next design also comes understood so 3d is one of one going to be one of the hot areas in coming uh, years 3d uh, manufacturing is the in the construction companies also we use cad model digital 3d models healthcare manufacturing construction company these are some of the areas where we can plan 3d technologies Bukati is already they have invested uh, uh, the amount in billions BMW Audi and Porsche okay they slowly slowly they are migrating towards the uh, 3d technology IoT another one internet of things nearly 75 billion devices are connected with each other if you take uh, as per the global survey understood so this 75 billion uh, devices can intercommunicate with each other and they can take the decision but we are in the initial stage right now okay so uh, first we need to in the base level first we need to connect all the 75 billion uh, devices with each other next we can take it to the next level but uh, iot as far as iot is concerned it is taking another shape called edge computing okay so maybe 
we are going to enjoy edge computing for edge computing again iot is going to become the base here okay so amazon cisco microsoft dell hp these are some of the companies who are working on iot but the problem with the iot is um, as far as i am from software background what i feel iot required more hardware devices okay so when hardware devices come the company should invest more on hardware devices understood but the company they don't want to invest more on the hardware devices nowadays okay so that is one of the challenging task uh, the the uh, for the expert who are working on iot devices uh, again they have to reduce the number of hardware devices as much as a uh, possible anyways let's see we are going to enjoy this edge computing let's see how edge computing works in uh, coming years the next is we have uh, devops in devops what happen if you take the legacy systems in legacy systems what happen suppose let us say uh, you have designed one product product and you have deployed it again the customer is coming next day the customer is coming and it is asking for uh, for the modification no i want to add one more uh, the feature or let's say one more model to my uh, the software so in that case in old system what was happening to add one more the model again we have to do reverse engineering okay so again we have to configure each and every model based upon the new model but in the case of devops what what happens suppose let us say you have deployed one model okay again the customer is coming next day to uh, add one more model okay so without disturbing the existed model which is already deployed in the production level we can uh, reconfigure or we can modify it using the devops uh, this is one of the highest paid job in the world okay nearly around 160000 dollars you can expect per annum uh, as for if you are planning your career in devops okay so next is artificial intelligence data and operations this devops also works completely depends upon uh, the data and the uh, operations using those data nasa netflix capgemini dell they are some of the companies who are working on devops and other companies are also is there Uh, but they are in the base level okay so they are using but since already the software is of uh, software is already des uh, designed and developed understood it takes a little time to migrate completely from legacy system to a uh, devops okay so next is we have uh, hyper automation robotic process automations okay so this is also one of the highest paid job in the world and uh, people don't want to sit in front of computer for a long interval of time let's say you are working 8 hours okay so you can concentrate only 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes okay in front of computer not more than that that so that means but the problem is company is paying you for 8 hours yes or no so they want everything the company wants everything to be automated understood so th there are companies like uh, power bi uh, ui path already we are working with ui path okay so they are trying to Uh, convert all the manual task of the computer to automation it is possible using the different softwares okay configuration there are many things comes over there just in just in one click you can make everything the automation hyper automation is also affecting mechanical sectors as well as the electrical sectors okay so we can make it everything to be the automation the best example is automated car itself automated cars you take automated buses four wheels understood so everything we can done we can perform it automation machine learning but remember you take any platform here okay right from 10 10 to 3 okay for to work on all this platform you should know machine learning so machine learning is going to become a base okay for all this upcoming uh, technologies okay somewhere either you will be forecasting okay somewhere you will be predicting okay so to forecast and predicting for predict okay so we need a machine learning okay so next wipro infosys okay they are uh, working on hyper automation robotic process automation systems uh, already they have invested uh, billions of amount in this area called hyper automation already they have lot of projects Uh, government in from the government sector, sectors as well as the from the other international uh, sectors next is uh, next in our uh, list uh, we have given uh, number 2 in number 2 we have cyber security 
uh, information is very important. Understood. Since we are generating massive amount of in information, sorry, the data, it should be secured. Okay. So when you have a huge amount of data, the challenges for the, uh, the, the people who are working under security also increases here. So cyber security is one more, one of the, uh, the, uh, one of the most demanding area or the most demanding uh, job sectors as far as uh, IT trends are concerned. Till 2020, okay, maybe it, it is going to extend, you can extend till 2023, 2024. Okay, so demand for the cyber securities are there. Automation in the cyber security, challenging is, uh, if it is manual, if you manually you are programming and you are detecting, let's say malware, Trojan horse, any security, uh, the viruses you take, manually okay you can we can do it but the challenge here is automation okay so the moment let us say some intruders are trying to hack your computers so automatic automatically the computer should here also in cyber security also the companies are demanding for automation understood so next is development of the public infrastructures. Obviously, you take smart cities. Uh, you take IOTs. As I told you, 75 million devices are going to connect. Understood? Uh, maybe in 75 billion devices. Okay. Some may be uh, trustworthy. Some we cannot trust it. Understood? So we should be able to recognize this type of a devices, and we should be able to take the appropriate decisions. Okay. Uh, in that cases, IBM, Beckerson, uh, yeah, Cisco, BlackBerry, Avaste are some of the companies who are working on cyber security. Next, AI as a services, data analytics. This is one of the hot kit. Okay, and remember, for five to six years, AI will be there. Okay, uh, the peop, uh, the companies, company wants to migrate totally. They want to migrate towards uh, AI, artificial intelligence, as well as the data science. Okay, so. Uh, you take any other sectors also. Okay, so AI is going somewhere. We are going to use AI system. And as far as machine learning is concerned, machine learning is a sub part of the uh, AI. Okay, turn your data into smart insight. Google, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Intel. These are some of the companies who are uh, working with the AI uh, system. Understood? So uh, these are some of the, uh, what I can say, the cutting edge technology where the market is are uh, demanding any doubt participants if any doubt please let me know or else directly straight away we'll go to the first uh, the project participants hello swati ma'am no, no, no. yeah yeah tamiza yes, sir, it is clear, yeah, sir. Yeah. Any it is doubt? clear sir no sir no doubt it's clear no yes so no, i just sir. wanted to cover some of the tech, yeah. just uh, technology as yes, for the market demand i just wanted to yeah demonstrate yeah let's right away we'll go to the project our first project is to predict or forecast uh, the number of uh, the birth in california region i have the data set of california region so i'm going to use california region you can uh, collect the data from other uh, the countries also or the state and you can ana analyze uh, or you can pro forecast using the same uh, technique Okay, so but before okay. that one, uh, I just want to demonstrate which are the platform I'm going to use here. Okay, uh, uh, to design any machine learning the products. First one is Amazon Web Services. Uh, let me show you Amazon Web Services. But right now I will not use this Amazon Web Services. There is a platform called Amazon SageMaker. Okay, so SageMaker using SageMaker we can design the machine learning. The product okay but the problem here is as far as amazon uh, web services is concerned you have to register with amazon web services but while registering with amazon web services you should have the credit card okay they are going to detect one rupee again they will uh, pay back okay just for the verification purpose okay so in the last two my two batch most of the participants were uh, uh, that means they didn't had the credit card understood so they were not able to sign in with the uh, Amazon Web Services, but this is one of the beauty, beautiful platform uh, AI expert. Okay, let me show you the dashboard. Already I have I have already registered with Amazon Web Services. 
hold on a second so this is one platform uh the benefit of using this platform is they offer tensor flow gpu tpu okay so all the platforms are available uh, to work with the complex data understood so that is there and these are some of the services which offered by amazon web services okay you can work with the different types of machines compute engines ec2 we have lambda functions we have lambda we have so these are some of the machines and session with uh, your colleague or the team members understood so next we have storage systems uh, as for a storage system is concerned uh, they offer around one second okay they offer around 6 to 7 storage system s3 bucket this is dynamic in nature if you take our um, local hard disk you will be having 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte of a data uh, storage capacity but this is dynamic in nature if you have petabyte of a data you can uh, store uh, in this okay and this is beneficial for us also sometimes in projects what happen we try to take uh, 400 gb of data okay one of my in my project i have used 400 gb of data so i cannot use that 400 gp i cannot store that 400 gp of data in my local machine so we need this type of storage system s3 efs we have so we can share the files okay uh, from one computer to another computer fx x is there we can mount dynamic the drive okay to your local machine glacier is there there are many other options are also available as far as storage is concerned database it offers this many database systems rds okay uh, relational database services dynamo db for no sql system elastic cache is there neptune is there okay key space these are some of the database systems they are offering it okay so most important for me is uh, this one uh, one second these are yeah one second where is it uh, hold on sage maker uh, one second where is sage maker where is sage maker sage maker i just type here sage maker sage maker amazon sage maker so this is the platform okay generally we use to write machine learning the programs okay so this is very user friendly also so just write the machine learning programs create the model okay and automatically it will be deployed in your a uh, production department uh, it gives all the platform all the background the services which are required to deploy your machine learning program but don't worry i'm going to use this one not in this project maybe in other uh, deep learning projects where i need a tensor flow a keras systems as, as well as the k train a system so this is one platform i'm using for to design machine learning products next we have google collab so i'm using google collab also because google collab also will give gpu and tpu okay uh, so using gpu or tpu we can uh, execute uh, complex data also but the problem here is uh, in google collab we can train the data okay or the model on for maximum up to 12 hours so we cannot extend that understood so you have to analyze before it be, while you before using any machine whether to go with the amazon sage maker or to google collab and to decide okay you should know how much time your model will take to train if it is taking more than 12 hours better you go with the amazon sage maker if it is lesser than uh, 12 hours you can plan your uh, design of the model in google uh, collab okay so next is local machine that is anaconda navigator okay so maybe in other projects simple projects i'm going to use anaconda and navigator okay so let's start then uh, first for this i'm just using uh, i'm going to have arima model and the base model so i'm not going to use any tensor flow systems here so that means the local uh, the machine itself is more more than sufficient to design this a uh, simple the project okay so next let's go to um google collab so go to google, go to google collab just go to drive here hit on drive okay next hit on drive hold down
hold on participants till then let's try to see the data amazon web services any projects uh, time series yeah, population okay can you see participants hello hello yes sir yes sir, sir. it is visible sir oh. yeah it's visible you can see the excel no yes sir yes sir one second okay hope you can see the cells hello uh, it it has not yet opened sir yes sir yes sir uh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now it is. Excel sheet. Can you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you see this Excel sheet? Yeah. So have a look. Have a look on this. I have two columns here. Yes, sir. Okay. Date and birth. Okay. Date and birth. So you can consider these are the features. Date and birth are the features. Cleared? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Date and birth are the features, and these are the records. Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay, so as far as record is concerned, have a look. I have taken complete 365 yes, days of data here. Okay. Okay, sir. So oh, hold on. So I have 366. That means one is for the index. 365 days of data. That means the complete one year of data I have. Okay. And this data set I have taken from California region, and this data set is of the year 1959. fine yes sir Hello? yes sir yes sir just analyze I'll, okay yes, analyze sir, this yes, data sir. yeah Hello? 11 1959 so in this day the total number of birth was 35 okay sir fine yes sir hello yes, sir. second day say 21 1959 the total number of birth was 32 yes yes sir Similarly, if you take all the 365 days of data, so I have okay. So the number of total birth here, okay, 365 days, December 12, 31st, 12, 1959. So total number of birth was 50. And now my task is to predict the total number of birth in this day, 1960. Clear? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my task is to predict how many number of birth will be in next day. Okay. Fine. Suppose let us say today's total number of birth of Karnataka is thirty. So what will be the birth in next day? How many number of the birth will be in the next day? Understood. This comes under okay. forecasting. Simple data set I have taken just to, to demonstrate. Since it is a first session, okay. So later on I am going to have very complicated uh, data. Okay. So here, okay. So hope you are clear. So now type of data. Can anyone tell me what type of data it is? Hello. Sir. Hello. Analyze it. What type of data this one? hello uh this is date time exactly this is date data okay but while analyzing understood so uh, the moment when you are feeding this one in machine okay yes, it takes as a string okay sir okay it takes as a string we need to convert it into date yes. next what type of data it is uh, this is the uh, integer numbers mm -hmm. integer number okay you take numerical data understood okay so but same happens with this data also okay the moment when you are feeding this one in the machine it takes as a string we need to convert and we, can, we should be able to play using the different algorithm etc hope you are cleared with the data now yes, okay sir. simple data are taken now let's try to predict now the total number of the child birth okay to the next day or doesn't matter 
which data uh, which date it is we should be able to predict the total number of birth same concept you can even you can use for weather forecasting suppose let us say uh, every second you are getting the, the temperature value understood temperature value let's say 5 seconds means 16 to 5 that much amount of temperature value will be there so using that one we can predict next to 5 minutes of temperature yes. fine okay so this is static data i have taken similarly the same concept even we can implement for the real time uh, data also okay no, so let no. me close this one okay let's see how to predict this one next don't save so now remember i have saved this one in the format of dot csv okay yes sir. so this is my doubt still it is working one second my drive Okay, so I have created one simple folder here, child birth rate. Okay, let me close this one. Child birth rate, hold on. Okay. Okay, so this is my folder child birth rate. First, let me try to upload that data in this location. Okay, so you can consider it as my uh, the project folder. So let me upload that data first. So this is the data which is it I have saved in .csv format. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So let me. Uh, so now my data is uploaded. So I have uploaded my data. One second. So I have the copy here. Let me delete first copy. Okay, let me remove the duplicate copy here from here. Okay, so now next is I'll use Google Collab. Uh, to use Google Collab, what you can do is just right click on this in your drive. Hold on, it takes a little time because okay. once it is configured, then while programming, okay. I'll use TPU. There will be no effect. One second. Okay. So can you see this? Hello? Yes, yeah, sir. Hello? One yes, second. Sir. Yes, sir. One second. There is an option called Google Collab here. Google Drive. Once again, Google Jam Road. Once again, for this okay. 
not here. One second. Sir, otherwise we can open through Google, uh, direct, directly from Google. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm, yeah. Let's go to Google Drive. Okay. One second for So this is the main dashboard of Google Scholar. Hope you can see participants. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me check first. Uh, uh, let me try to change the email address. Can you see participants? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is the main dashboard of the Google Collaboration. Okay. Google Collab. Let me try to change the name first, file name. So let's say childbird. The childbird uh, Python file alone. First, the most important. Okay. So I want to mount my Google Drive first. Okay. So to mount Google Drive, just hit on this uh, the folder button. Okay, this will take little time. Till then, I'll try to change the CPU. To change the CPU, go to Edit. Okay, here Notebook Settings. Yes, see Hardware Accelerator. Right now, by default, it is none. That means the normal hard hardware accelerator I'm using. Okay, so if I want to change it to GPU or TPU, suppose that I say you are working with the TensorFlow or Keras system, so in, the, in that case, it is better to shift the hardware accelerator right from none either to GPU or TPU. So I'll use TPU now, okay, and save it. Okay, TPU and save it. Now next, after that, I want to mount, yeah, 
sir what is this the gpu and tpu sir okay so gpu okay so this is the that is the higher version of the accelerator one second okay gpu central processing unit generally we use gpu for graphical a processing unit okay for graphic purpose or if you want to have uh, the highest computation power then in that cases we require higher configuration machine okay so if you are working with the complex data so in that case we require the some graphical processing units okay so generally we try to use gp or cp in that case hope you are clear yes sir hello yes sir yes sir okay so yeah next is Uh, let me mount my uh, hard drive first. Sorry, Google Drive. So to mount, uh, just click on this icon. Okay, connect it to drive. Connect it to drive. Give the access permission. So give the access permission. Uh, since my drive is. Uh, my data is available in this email address so i'll give the access permission for that yeah now google drive is mounted one second okay sample data hold on my drive Okay, so here, uh, child birth. Can you see this participant? Hello. Yes, sir. So this is my Google Drive. Yeah, this is my Google Drive. Under my Google Drive, there is a folder called child birth. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Yeah. So under this, I have my CSV file. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So okay. So now next is let's try to uh, upload the data first. Okay, so to upload, but before uploading the data, we need some library files here. So let me try to uh, up, uh, install some of the libraries. Uh, fundamental libraries I'm going to use like pandas, pandas as PD. Okay, uh, for uh, to work with uh, two-dimensional data, we require pandas. Similarly, we need import. I'll have numpy to work with uh, numerical data we require numpy numpy as a np okay np is an alias of numpy next uh, for visualization purpose we need some more libraries like import matplotlib matplotlib alias for visualization purpose okay data visualization purpose matplotlib choose the second one next uh, py plot Okay, py plot as pld okay pld next inline function for inline function what i will do i'll try to extract some of the sub classes from mat plot list okay mat dot let inline okay so next uh, the most important uh, since we are working with a massive amount of data okay uh we need some we have to use some statistical formula okay so statistical formulas and after using statistical formulas we want to describe okay uh, using visualization system so for that one i'll use one more library called profiling okay but before that one i think it's better to install uh, let me install this one first in my google colab just to install just it either you can run this one just uh, Hit on play button. Okay, hit on play button, or else you can run enter six and enter. Okay, so that means got executed now. Okay, so all the these libraries are available on my this file now. Child bot dot okay the Python file. Okay, so now next is. Uh, let me try to see the data, the format of the data. Okay, so to see the format of the data, what I I will do, I'll try to create one variable f of birth. Okay, f of birth. Let's say pd. Pd is an alias for the 
pandas okay so yes. to read any file you need uh, the pandas here read csv okay read underscore csv read underscore csv the next is okay just uh, copy the path okay the copy the path where uh, your file is located okay you can see here my this under this folder my file is located okay available so what i will do is just uh, hit on this three ellipses okay copy the path okay under single quote paste this link okay, paste the link next is shift and enter it it got executed now let's try to see okay uh, the how the data will look like to see the data just call that variable f underscore but okay f underscore but but dot head okay dot head next shift and enter it shift and enter it can you see hello hello yes sir yes sir but see uh, generally what we do uh, if, if you have massive amount of data let's say 1 gb of data uh, 2 gb of data generally what we do we try to check first five lines of the data okay so to check first five line and five lines of the data you can use this head head option understood the yes. same way this this gives you the first line first five lines of the data in the same way let's imagine that you want to see Uh, the last line okay so to check the last line you can use the method f underscore but okay underscore but tail okay so tail next shift and enter it shift and enter it can you see this hello yes yes sir indexes okay by default even if you are not uh, mentioning index it it start the index from 0 okay and the last index is 364 here understood and this shows the last five lines of the data now the question is why i am checking only the first five lines and the last last lines of the data can someone tell me hello yeah generally we uh, uh, experts what they do they try to check only five lines of the data and last five lines of the data okay they don't consider sometimes they don't consider okay the all the complete 365 days of the data why means sometimes what happen in the data suppose let us say okay uh, birth you take the birth column okay in the last line sometimes you will be having the sum of the birth hope you are clear Okay. Okay. So all 35 plus 32, 30, 31, 40. Okay. So like that. Okay. So they count all the number of birth of entire year. So you will be having the sum over here in the last column. Okay. So if you have the sum value. Okay. So first before forecasting such type of a data, you have to delete such type. Okay. That sum value. Understood. If you are forecasting the data with the sum value, okay, so that means the prediction you will not get the accurate result. Forget about getting the uh, accurate result uh, directly straight away. The machine will okay send an error message. Understood. So cleaning of the data is very very important here. But as far as this data is concerned, uh, this is a clean data I have taken. There are no missing values. Okay, there are no empty cells are available. Later on in the next project, we will see. Okay, how to work with the uh, missing data or how to clean the data in next uh, in our next project. Okay, so now next is have a look on this data. Okay, so as far as this data is concerned, I have a date. I have the birth along with date and birth. I have one more column here. Okay, which is by default the system has generated. Which is that one? The index, right? Yes or no? What is that? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. So it is an index. So that means I have to eliminate that index. To eliminate that index, I don't want the index value here. Understood? Otherwise, it will get reflected while forecasting for the data. So to eliminate the window, what I will do? Uh, the index. I'll have index column. Index underscore column. C O M. Equals to okay, equals to zero. Okay, zero. If we try to run again, shift and enter it. Okay. So next is 
Can enter it. Can you see this? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, so that means I'm yes, slowly, slowly clearing, clearing the data. Okay, so now uh, index is not available in my on my data. Understood. Mm -hmm. Whatever we had in the CSV file, same data I'm going to uh, fetch here. Now, next target is, okay, uh, the type of the data. Since for us, okay, the moment when you see this data, date and birth, we feel like it is uh, date type of a data and numerical data. Let's see how machine has stored this data. You check that one. So what you can do is, okay, so you can type, there is an option called type, type, then call the variable name, that is f underscore birth. Okay, F underscore but shift and enter. Okay, so can you see this one? It is data frame data. Understood? So data frame it is showing data frame data. Need for the time series analysis. Okay, so that means we can analyze this or data. Okay, so <laughs> now next is C. Data frame. Okay, so data frame it is showing. But we need to convert this one in terms of time series data. This is time series data, right? Yes, sir. Date. Date, date. Yeah, date. date. It is time C. 35. Next, 32. It's next day, 32. Next, next to the next day, 30, 30 we have. Understood? So, that means every day, okay, so the day values are changing here. Generally, we consider this one as a time series uh, data. Okay, and it is stored in the format of data frame. Now, our next task is to convert this one in terms of time series data. No. Swati ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are understanding the concept? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting, sir. Okay. Yeah. Data frame. Now, I have to convert this one in terms of time series data. To convert this one in terms of time series data, so what I will do, so I'll try to take one more variable, series, okay, series of values, okay, series of values equals to, okay, f of birth, f of birth okay, which is nothing but my variable dot values okay so let's see how many amount of values are there okay uh, shift and enter it yes here uh, again again i have to run one more command series of values now next to type no? okay, type series of values series of values Next, shift and enter it. Okay, so num array, num p1, array it's showing. Okay, data frame. Now next is, let us have the observation. F of birth. Okay. Uh, F of birth dot size. Let's see, okay, the quantity of the data which is available in my CSV file. Okay, so next is shift and enter it. It contains around exactly 365 data. Okay. So next is, let's try to have the statistics. Okay. So to statistics, uh, st let's have try to have the statistics that nothing but uh, what is the mean of the value, what is the mode of the value, what is the median of the value. Okay. So later on, I'm going to use this mean mode uh, in while designing my the algorithm okay or the model using model using specific algorithm okay uh, describe f sorry call the same variable f of birth f of birth dot there is a method called describe okay so describe method will create all the statistical uh, the concept uh, what I can say, uh, so uh, it try to calculate the mean of the value, median of the value, and the mode of the value. Okay, so dot describe. Okay, use method called dot describe. And done. Okay, shift and enter it. Shift and enter it. Can you see this? Hello. Yes, sir. How much? Three sixty-five. 41.98. What does it mean? That means every day, as per my data, as per my data set is concerned, every day, as an average, there are 42 births. Okay. As per the data, uh, like the simple mean is concerned. Standard deviation is showing like 7.2. Yes, sir. 
ಡೇಟಾ data okay so to use profiling what i will do let me install this profiling uh, the library so to install okay so use pip pip command pip install pip install pandas okay pandas uh, profiling p r o f i link f i f i l i n g profiling okay So install pip install pandas profiling. Okay. Shift and enter it. This will take little time. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that now profiling pandas profiling is available. So we can use this one for visualization of purpose. Okay, so next what I will do? I'll try to okay take this one from pandas profiling. So I want to generate the report. Okay, the report of my entire data set. So to do that one, what I will do, I'll, I'll call this pandas profiling. Pandas profiling. Pandas. Let me try here. Yeah. Select pandas profiling. Import. So I want to generate report. To generate report, there is an option called profile report. Okay. So select profile report. Okay. Select profile report. Shift and enter it. Okay. Shift and enter it. next is i'll create one variable called profile okay create variable called profile profile report profile report okay profile report all that matter profile report next uh, my data is stored where in f birth right okay call that uh, variable called web birth now let us try to have the title uh, so my title will be okay. Uh, let's say title is uh, number of birth number of birth okay and I'll, i want to display this one in uh, uh, html mode so to display using html what i will do i'll call html html equals to style let's say style style okay. style also i'm going to have a dictionary here style of even you can have multiple dictionary dictionary uh, dictionaries under uh, pandas profiling uh, let us have full width okay okay full width full underscore width Full underscore width. Let us have this equals to true. Okay. Equals to or true. True. Okay. True. Next is let me run this. Uh, any type of mistake? Yeah. Shift and enter it. There is a type of mistake. Invalid syntax. Somewhere I have committed mistake. Mm, profiling. Pandas profiling. Profile report. Birth title. Number of birth. Zero. HTML. Style. Yeah, here. Yeah. Fine. So next is shift and enter it. Invalid syntax. F of birth. Title. Title. Uh, 
ya listo esto. Broker. ¿Cómo? Sí, me lo puesto style. Puesto. Convertir esto to. Let me try now. What was that error? Can someone tell me, please? Sir, it is showing that uh, equal to true, sir. Maybe that only that uh, syntax full width yeah. equal to true is there. Equal to, yeah, equals to. It should not be equal to common. Yeah. Can enter it. Yeah, again, there is an error here. Title. Title, title. 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 Title equals to right. So can enter. No. Something wrong here. Right. Profile report. Dot title. Title should be. Anyways, still equals to style. Anyways, we'll see this one. Okay. So next is after visualization, there is some type of mistake here. One second. Let me type it and enter it. Yep, but the spelling F underscore birth. F underscore birth title. Title equals to number of birth. Anyways, we'll see this one. Okay, so maybe some type of mistakes are there. Okay, so this is uh, like so right now, this count. Okay, so now you know how to calculate the mean standard deviation. Uh, BDN and 25. Now, similarly, uh, we can visualize this. Okay, so we, we can visualize this, visualize each and every the attributes as well as the records of uh, that data using pandas profiling. There is there are some type of mistakes here. Okay, I'll come. Uh, let me rectify this. So profile underscore shift and enter it. Anyways, okay, so uh, let me rectify this one and then I'll explain this. Okay, how to use Pandas profiling techniques for visualization, so statistical visualization of the uh, data. Okay, so next is uh, after that. Um, now, next, uh, what we need to do is, okay. Uh, we need to divide this the complete 365 days of data into test and train okay uh, test and train uh, data set okay so testing data sorry uh, training data as well as uh, testing data so using the test training data we are going to generate the model once the model is ready then we will be using the testing uh, data okay to test that model okay so first but before that one let's try to have the indexing here f of birth 
f of birth equals to let's say f of birth f of birth f of birth so the my index always uh, let's start the index with 0 to 0 to 365 365 okay so next is Shift and enter it. Shift and enter it. Next, again, let's let's try to okay check the status statistics here. Birth of f of birth of dot describe okay, dot describe dot describe. Next is shift and enter it. Yeah, there is no much difference here. Is so index is done that is 0 to 365 now so next is let's try to have the visualization of our data so to have the visualization of the data so what i will do i'll call the same variable f underscore birth f underscore birth dot plot okay so plot i'm using this plot method from matplotlib library okay once again What matplotlib library here? Have a look on this matplotlib library. Okay, so let's try to shift and enter this. Okay, access one second. I think I have to uh, let me run again. Okay. Yes, type of birth. Next, these are the values. Size is 365. Birth describe statistical values. Okay. So next is yeah indexing describe same thing this is the same thing that the another method of uh, uh, calculating the statistical values here of the data okay so next is f birth of plot f birth of plot okay so this is an yeah can you see this participants hello hello Yes, sir. Yes, Have a sir. look on this. Any doubt? Yes, okay, Hello? don't get confused. I'll, I'll rectify this. Okay, this is just one method of uh, visualizing the data. Okay, so if you compare matplotlib with this uh, pandas profiling, okay, so pandas profiling will give more options compared to the matplotlib. Okay, for as far as visualization of the data is concerned. Here, what happens if you Have a look on this. Yes, see. So uh, uh, as for the the date and the birth okay so it has visualized it okay uh, but uh, if i if you are analyzing this data okay using this uh, graph it's a bit complicated okay for us to uh, analyze the data using this graph right yes or no participants hello yes, sir, yes, have yes, a look on this okay. hello, sir. yeah yeah have a look on this okay so it's a bit difficult to analyze okay this uh, graph okay so it is not possible to predict exactly okay how much amount of how many number of birth will be in the next day understood so this is okay so we have to work okay we have to what i can say okay this is kind of a stationary a uh, series okay so again uh, suppose if i want to have the clear image okay so again what generally what i will do so i'll try to use the median concept okay so mean mean concept here okay so that uh, let's see whether it is possible to expand this visualization techniques visualization uh, using the mat plotter or uh, lib here but when it comes to when you compare this technique okay of visualization with the pandas profiling here generally what happens okay so it gives more options for the visualization generally it creates a window let's say uh, instead of uh, displaying the graph okay visualizing using individual data what i can do i can have the mean of say five days suppose say uh, 
suppose say okay you take this data 35 32 30 31 44 so what i can do is i can take the mean of this five data and i can visualize it using pandas profiling it is also possible to have such technique using matplotlib also okay so next what i will do okay uh, let me try to have the clear image clear image uh, visualization of this data okay by a rolling technique okay so uh, this generally we call this one as a stationary uh, the model or stationary series in stationary series what happens is that data will be more, more closely with each other understood so if i want to have the clear visualization i generally use uh, the rolling technique in time series uh, data okay so let's have one more variable called f underscore birth okay where f underscore birth underscore mean so i'll create one more value called uh, variable called me, uh, f underscore birth underscore uh, mean equals to okay uh, f underscore birth f underscore birth okay, where my data is uh, available now next what i will do i'll use the technique called rolling okay, i'll use the technique called rolling okay so i'm going to have the mean of uh, 20 days of data okay so yeah, there is no there is no description that you should have the 20 days of data you can have 5 days of data 10 days of data or uh, 50 days of uh, data also okay it is possible you, uh, you can have you, you can use the rolling technique okay to take the mean of uh, the number of days of uh, data here so next is uh, rolling uh, there is a method called windows okay windows window equals to i'll have 20 days now okay 20 days of data next uh, dot mean okay i'm going to have the mean value here so i you can choose any any uh, technique here either you can go for mean median or mode okay so for the instance of time i'll use the mean value here okay here 20 is nothing but generally we say this 20 is nothing but the mu moving average okay moving average of my entire data set so i'll have 20 data set next i'll take the mean value of that 20 data set next i will try to plot the graph okay sir sir yeah, yeah. Uh, will you take the random data sir 20 lines of random data or by sequence it will take it sequentially it will take ma'am first 20 lines it will take yeah, first, first 20 lines it will take next it take try to take the mean of that data okay sir. it is also possible to have it is also possible to take random values also Okay. okay okay so next is uh, uh let me run this one let me run this one yeah it got executed now let's okay so i'll try to display both the graph now f of birth yeah? f of birth dot plot okay f of birth dot plot okay so shift and enter it shift and enter it that means uh, this is the previous same graph i'm using here same graph i'm displaying now next is let's try to uh, display the graph with the moving image okay so f of f underscore birth underscore birth underscore mean okay underscore mean which is nothing but this variable okay where i have done uh, the rolling where i'm using the rolling technique okay mean plot okay dot plot dot plot shift and enter it shift and enter it can you see this yes sir uh, which is yeah uh, which is uh, which is more easy to understand second, second one second one no second one so that means this is this is called moving average data moving average uh, technique okay uh, which is widely used when uh, the data is closely uh, related with each other and the, Okay, so in this I can directly say that okay so from using this visualization technique easily I can say that there is a minimum of okay so this graph this line shows this is a minimum value understood minimum value falls at uh, below 30 years and maximum value uh, fall above 50 understood so this is one rough prediction I can have using a rolling or technique understood similarly we can uh, have the mean of uh, uh, 
let's say uh, let's try to have 10 now okay let me try to run this then enter it okay so let's see the difference uh yeah underscore mean shift and enter it not the ground so have a look on this that's that means it has taken the mean of uh 10 or data set in the same way uh, the how the number of uh, windows you, you are increasing okay so it gives more clear data to for the visualization let me have 30 now okay, 30 let me try to run now let's say let's say have a look on this understood it gives more visualization understood uh, but still, okay, we are not accurate. We cannot, by looking into this graph, we cannot say okay, the total number of uh, but will be lesser than 38. Okay, lesser than 38 or maximum we can say okay, more than 50. Okay, we cannot predict, we cannot give the accurate result over here. Generally, what we do, we try to uh, convert the entire data set into machine learning the model. Understood? First thing. Uh, uh, now let us try to since my data is uh, clean, clean data I'm using, understood, and we have uh, seen the visualization of our data also. Now it's time to uh, create the model, understood? Uh, okay, so let's start with uh, creating the base model. So as far as this birth data is concerned, what I will do, I'll try to create two models here. First is called baseline model. Okay. First, we'll have baseline model. Simple baseline model, I'll uh, explain you what is baseline model here. In the same way, next, uh, I'll use uh, one more model called Arima model. Okay. okay. So, Arima model, further the Arima model is divided in uh, many types like S Arima we have. Okay. Next, we have uh, seasonal model. Okay. Seasonal model we have. Okay, next, uh, uh, there is, uh, when it comes to time series model, uh, then when it comes to time series data, even we can use auto uh, regressive model. So we can uh, try with auto regressive model also. Okay, so next we have exponential model. Okay, exponential model. Okay, so these are some of the models generally we use to, to predict time series type of a data. Let's try to clear the data using the baseline technique. Next, we'll go for Arima model. Understood. Let's see. Next, later. after that, we'll see okay, which model will give highest uh, the accuracy. Okay. Okay. So, as far as baseline model is concerned, uh, let me go to my Excel sheet again. Have a look on it. Hope you can see my Excel sheet. Can you see the Excel sheet? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I'll copy some of the chapters. Some contains. Okay. This, this directly I have taken from my data set. Hold on. I've taken directly from data set. Let's try it. I'll try to name this one BP. Okay. In baseline model, what happens? This is the dates. Forget about this one. Okay. So, I'll try to take number of words now. So, as far as this date is concerned, that is uh, first uh, 2 3 2020. Okay, so number of births are copied. Okay, now in baseline model, what I will do, I'll try to uh, add the data. Like in the prediction, what I'll, I'll do, same I will drag it to the next, uh, the next line. Suppose that I say uh, t plus 1, I'll have t plus 1. So, yes, see. This is, let us imagine that uh, this is total number of births uh, of today. So in next today, generally what we do, okay, the total number of births tomorrow also will be 40, right? Yes. Yes or no? What is that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? We predict like today's total number of births is 40. So we predict tomorrow also the total number of births will be how much? Sir? Around 40. Yeah, around 40. Or... Yeah, as an average also you can say, understood. So, mm -hmm. next, uh, day after tomorrow, I have a okay. So, today's birth is 40. We predicted, okay, 
uh, the tomorrow's day uh, tomorrow's total number of birth is forty but expected was okay so real birth was, was how much 41 41 41 41 sir understood right ah uh, yes sir yes sir okay so the actual birth was 40 predicted birth was 40 sorry actual birth was 41 the predicted birth was 40 yes sir okay. day after tomorrow uh, it may be one uh, more or one less no. than 40 no expect yeah actual birth is 41 Tom tomorrow yeah next day actual birth was 41 predicted birth was 40 yes day after tomorrow have the sir just analyze it how i am playing how i am playing with the data analyze it let's uh, 37 or 36 no near to 38 I, i will repeat again okay actual birth let's say actual birth of today is 40 yes, i am predicting actual birth uh, sorry uh, uh, actual birth was 40 sorry actual birth of today is 40 i am predicting again the 40 birth tomorrow okay sir but actual birth is how much 41 41 41 what about tomorrow day after tomorrow again 41 we will predict exactly i am predicting 41 birth day after tomorrow but actual birth is how much 38 38, 38. now day after okay next day how much it will be 38 again prediction again 38 again uh, we are predicting 38 understood no yes sir yes. similarly this is the predicted birth but actual birth is this one again 35 i predicted okay so i got okay so total birth actual birth was 42 this is called baseline model yes sir cleared okay yes, sir now this is model we can use when you have time series type of a data doesn't matter yes, sir. whether it is weather forecast or any type of a data you do it is you are up to your visualization but in the baseline model what we do whatever the actual uh, data you get same will be taken to the next day or okay. next second or next minute understood the yes, so same concept i'm going to use yes, here in our this project also okay so baseline yes. model next we'll see arima model okay okay baseline model let's try to design the baseline model now okay so to have the baseline model what i will do i'll try to create one uh, the variable here called value value okay so i'll try to have uh, data frame pd okay pd dot data frame yes data frame data frame yeah data frame so okay data frame series values so let me check whether i have that variable or not series values uh see type is series values type is series values one second yeah series values okay so the series values i have now the total data frame data i have converted into series value now okay series values Okay, call series values here. Series values. Series values. Select it. Next is okay. Shift and enter it. Yeah, it got executed. That means now I'm going to use series values now. Now the the entire data set which is in the format of series values now it is storing the value now. Okay, now I have to concatenate this. Okay, concatenate. Uh, I'll use the technique of concatenation. So what I will do? Okay, uh, for the concatenation, I'll use create one more variable called birth birth underscore bf equals to pd. There is a method called concatenate. Okay, concatenate to take uh, two series values. and to create uh, after taking two series values i am going to create uh, the one okay concatenate concat technically use okay so here i'll use value which is nothing but my the data which is in the format of series okay value okay value comma Okay, so value just shift it to the next level or uh, next cell now. To shift to the next level uh, cell, 
okay so at next cell so what i will do value dot there is a technique called shift okay shift to one shift of one okay shift of one okay and give the axis equals to one axis equal to one okay that means it going to create the new one more new a column here axis axis equal to okay axis equal to one hold on i think there is some type of mistake here so this axis should be out of yeah uh, i think this is perfect let me run this okay, shift and enter it i got executed okay let me check okay uh, whether i have created one more new feature or not birth of birth underscore df but underscore df let's try to have head okay i'll use head method here to check the status of the data now uh, no birth underscore df what i have mentioned there uh, birth b i t r h b i d f d f sir it should be d f should be d f hold on it should be d f okay so shift and enter it but oh my god it should be df okay sorry shift and enter it can you see this yes sir Hello? yes sir so i just shifted i just shifted yeah i just shifted 35 to next axis axis one 32 to next okay 32 next understood but have a look on this if you take the index zero okay so in index zero i have an empty cell right yes sir understood yes. okay so when you have an empty cell or nan understood and if you are using the same data with the nan or empty cells okay you it is not possible to create the model or it is not possible to fit the model understood yes. so yes. in that case what i will do i'll try to delete this first data which is index zero understood yes. because this index zero is having a null value or nan value understand yes. there are many options here uh, either you can replace nan with the average value since as far as average value is concerned okay so as far as the average value is concerned have a look mean 41.98 is showing or 42 is showing you can replace this nan with 42 or else directly you try to eliminate or delete that uh, this first access okay before deploying or before creating any the model understood so next uh, is what i will do sir um, sir what yeah. is this the uh, one sir in the shift shift function value dot shift okay. one we have used sir what is the meaning of this one sir so i am shifting this one i am creating okay the is it the first column is it column yeah, number one yeah, or a, yeah no no this access one is the second one this is the zero it's one zero column one column okay sir. understood access okay. one means sir huh access, access one means okay so this one this index value okay this is zero column this is a sorry this is zero column this is one column okay, okay. this is zero row this is one first uh, one row hope you are clear yes, yes. then okay. shift, shift one is also used no sir yeah shift shift same one, column no shift one i'm using for to shift this 35 is there now 35 value. <laughs> 35 value to shift to the next level okay okay access one is to create the column here okay hope you are clear yes, other, part yes. is other part is spent yeah maybe this looks yeah yeah while uh, explain maybe you feel like it's boring okay later no, on sorry, it, slowly, it is interesting interesting slowly slowly you will understood understand okay uh, why i'm uh, playing how uh, why i'm playing playing with the data because all this techniques no okay it is uh, it is going to affect while uh, creating the model okay next is hope uh, now hope you are clear with this one uh, yes sir next yeah next is let's try to have the columns now yeah uh, uh see have a look on this uh, i want to give some uh, value name here label here 35 uh, man is there okay zero zero is there let's try to give them 
the name uh, let's try to label this okay so to label this what i will do i'll have a dot underscore df okay dot column okay, dot columns columns equals to uh, i'll have first one is the actual birth no actual birth actual birth actual birth next is forecasted birth okay, let us have this one be forecasted birth okay, forecasted forecast or forecast birth forecast birth next is enter and shift and enter it okay shift and enter it now again let me try to run the same code first thing the score uh, df dot head dot head shift and enter it shift and enter it. so can you see this okay so that means i have replaced this 0 0 with the actual birth and forecasted uh, the birth here understood yes so yes, next is, yeah uh, yeah now let's try to design the model okay to design the model Okay, first I need to calculate the error rate. Okay, so how much of error present in this complete data set? Okay, so to calculate the error, I'll use another another library called Sklearn. Sklearn dot matrix. Okay, matrix dot matrix import. Okay, import mean squared error. I'll calculate. Okay. So mean squared error, mean absolute error. These are some of the options which is offered by provided by SQLN. So uh, I right now I'm going to use this mean squared error. Okay, mean squared error, mean squared error. Yes. Okay. So next again I need one more library called NumPy to work with numerical values. NumPy, I think already NumPy is installed as NP. Okay, as NP. Okay. So next is shift and enter it. Okay, shift and enter it. Next is I'll try to have one more variable called birth or test. Okay, so birth test equals to birth test equals to Now my data is where my data is in this variable birth date, okay, df. So birth underscore df, birth underscore df. Let's try to have the complete set. It start index is starting from zero, and my last data index is three sixty four, right? Okay, so give the index values zero to three sixty, zero to three sixty four. Zero to three sixty four. Fine. Next is no. Uh, someone said three sixty five. Ah yes, sir. Three sixty. Three sixty four. Because my index is starting from zero. Okay. 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 Go. Okay. Okay. So shift and enter it. Shift and enter. It got executed. Now let me let me try to check the status of the data. Birth. Underscore df. Okay, birth. Sorry, not birth underscore df. It should be birth underscore test now. Okay, birth underscore test. Dot head. Okay, dot head. Next is shift. Enter it. Hold on. Yeah, have a look on this. Yeah, there is no no much difference here. That means, but it has taken the complete data right from index zero to three. 64 now let's try to calculate the amount of error which present in this data set okay uh, to calculate the amount of error okay so what i will do i'll try to create one more variable here birth of error birth of error equals to birth of error equals to mean squared error okay so i'll try to calculate the mean squared error 
one second mean squared error mean squared error uh, birth test okay so birth test where my the actual data is stored now birth test birth underscore test birth underscore test dot okay so call the column name that is actual birth actual birth yeah actual birth comma okay birth test underscore birth test uh, birth test dot what was another column name forecasted okay. yeah. so forecasted okay. so let's see how much amount of error present in this the entire data set shift and enter it shift and enter it so it's showing error what is that have a look input contain an an can you see this yes sir yeah it put input contain an an that is the reason i'm not able to calculate the amount of error present in the data set what i have to do now uh, we have to replace it with some value yeah we have to replace this one with some value or i, I have to delete that one okay so that is the option the, that is the only option to make so what i will do i'll try to delete this one okay so or remove i'll try to remove that one first okay to remove that what i will do i'll have my now right now my data stored in this birth test okay birth test equals to okay equals to birth df birth birth def df okay so birth test def okay now i have to uh, rework on this uh, so first so have a look first call okay first two i'm going to delete this one okay so to remove the first column what i will do i'll just try to mention the first here, one here understood so next is shift and enter it shift and enter it next okay it got executed now next is just let me check the status of my data now okay so test so test underscore head test underscore head next is shift and enter it shift and enter it can you see this yes sir yes sir i have removed the first index now zero index is eliminated now yes now, sir i'll try to calculate the amount of error which is present in this uh, data set just let me copy this i'll just copy this one copy yeah just select this copy this and ah it was this one anyways i'll uh, one second person copy set okay copy that and paste it over here paste it here again birth error means square error birth test actual birth okay so shift and enter it shift and enter it okay shift and enter it yeah it got executed now birth error okay now to check the amount of error which is present in this what i will do uh, i'll just run this birth underscore error okay. underscore error shift and enter it okay it's showing like 84.22 but this is remember this is in uh, the uh, mean squared error okay so mean squared error we have okay so we need to, to to check the actual error what i have to do is okay i have to take the square root of this one okay to take the square root what i will do i'll just try to call my numpy y okay. call the library numpy y square root sqrt sqrt okay next is birth error birth error. or as you can ignore that direct birth error Okay, so sorry. Uh, one second. Birth underscore error. Birth underscore error. 
so next is shift and enter it shift and enter that means this data contains how much around 9% of error okay so this data contains around 9% uh, of the error next is okay so next one mm, any doubt here participant no, no. 